songs about the corn belt and some of the people in it or on it said mind over 
dot, dot, dot. She says, you mean I.E., who are they? He says, what we know is she lives in town. He's been here before. What we don't know is how they spend their time apart. She says, why do we do these things, well? He says, I think the answer is the name. Jesus. 
says, what happens when the children get together? Long pause. He says, they tell jokes. She, she says, that's better than wrecking bottles, isn't it? <laughs> Long pause. He says, depends on the joke.
maybe into the day. I could be understanding frequency a little. Right now I'm most interested in conjunctions. 15, 35, 50. The next one comes up soon. Look out. He keeps saying, look out to himself. He'll be standing by the stove and making coffee and he'll say, look out. Why do people swear? <coughs> he says the thing itself is called Tourette Syndrome. Named for Gilles de la Tourette. Keep in mind he's French. One unnamed thinks that areas on Gilles right were breaking into language. Or other times he would have suffered mere hallucination. My theory is that it's just exploration. Why does everybody call it except for assholes when everybody has to say? This way assumes that things are more or less okay, except for drives. As in the gradients between the Sunday drive and the South Pole of Shoe keeps the playwrights on their toes. In this theory, the important element is, quote, the opportunity, unquote. For instance, only yesterday I decided for myself, no more incidental music. As soon as I made this plan, the phone rang. The voice said, there's money in the play. I restrained myself from saying, hot diggity. Instead I said, oh boy, I am totally, exclusively, completely, and only into, as they say, song. Who's going to write the words? The voice said, well, what we had in mind was something more abstract. I said, do you mean as a music that supports action that is unexplained? The voice said, yes. I said, do you mean I find music for my own motives? And while that music is performed, people in costumes will jump around on stage? The voice said, that's, that's all that's the idea. idea. I said, fuck you, man. Next time you're in the bathroom, hang yourself. That's what I mean by the element of, quote, opportunity. Does this happen often? He says, well, people on TV say, I just went blank. She says, and how does that affect you? He says, I don't believe there was such a thing. Then I realized there are people who will say, if you order that fish, you have to eat it. So my ideas keep changing. She, she says, says, is it possible there was no money to begin with? He says, anything is possible, but the fact is, for one whole day it was gone, it was there, and then it was gone. Are you investigating the chances of an inside job? He says, for all of us together, all jobs are inside jobs. She says, then who decides what's acceptable? He says, almost any amount is acceptable. It's almost always happened between the words. The words explain the stage business, pantomime is a special case. It suppresses words, therefore it can tell us only what we already know. It's probably the oldest of all. So where is the resistance? He says, yes. only in the name. He would say, not Gibbon, Gibbons. Gibbon is a baboon. I didn't think there was a difference except in sound, but that's the way he wanted it. She says, how did you get to know each other? He says, I crawl into a room at night. She says, Is there anything you call therapy? He says, just a good long walk. She says, what other kind of feelings are described? He says, there's a feeling the other is voracious. That you are in the presence of some devouring force, the other is the instrument of. And there's a feeling of resentment against that force. She says, would you call this an alienation? He says, this is truly a nation of aliens. Not the only one.
probably the biggest. So I guess I would call them an alien nation. A friend of mine says it's not a nation at all, but they're all aliens. He points as a for instance to the red man as he calls himself. Patient, modest in his ambitions, and apparently just a visitor from Asia. She says, and what about the public property? Sigh. He says, that's a hard one. All I can say is, in the morning, some tiptoe, some don't. Sigh. She says, and what about the quote, mysteries, unquote? He says, it's agreed that the main causes are, quote, wearing out, unquote, and, quote, getting in an accident, unquote. But I think that everybody's worried now about the telephone. She says, what are the kinds of tests do you use? He says, there's, quote, prayer, unquote. And of course, but just because we have it, we don't have to use it always. Dependence means a loss of sensitivity. I don't want us to get cruder and not pray. I just want us to practice waiting. Because I feel we receive a message and be relieved of prayer. She says, and how is music related to all this? He says, well, unlike the movies, which is a corporate idea, or the example of a corporate idea, here there is no plan to speak of. One flake follows the next, each is slightly different, and first thing you know, you've got a pile. Who like that pile over there? Here today, gone tomorrow, only to be replaced by something else we need. But in the movies, or the corporate idea, take two is the main approach, up to and including the thing itself, intact. When you finish the movie, you show it to the person who is in charge of opening, you listen to his opinion, which is judgment. This approach is pure in the flaws in the aesthetic structure, that is, the certainty of that opinion is rampant, that opinion has no bounds or limits, that finally, under the pressure of opinion, the work would never be completed, is answered. Not an apologies to opinion, which only weak an opinion as a standard, nor the opinion of other kind of structure. For instance, that the maker of opinion should have some notion about what to do. But in the logic of, if logic is the word, the relativism of opinion, that is, the answer to a bad opinion is to assert that finally opinion is nothing. People respect that idea. For instance, a teacher once told me, when I told him that I had never had a favorable opinion of the products of the Chrysler Motor Company, and could he understand that? He said, yes. Yeah. That's, That's what, what sells cars. Masterminds the seedy looking older guy. There's no doubt the Mexican is in it. The doubt is if he's Mexican. Then there are the locals. There's somebody not unlike RD, somebody who works at the bank and has access to the inner secrets. Then there's somebody connected to that connection in some way, maybe even an older sister like Marie Zolder, who was the communicator. Then there were some involved in travel, innocent of what they're up to. Maybe like those two kids who went off yesterday and eloped. Maybe there were others, but I don't think so. I think that was it. She said, how is it that you know about the elopement? Pause. He says, the clipping service. She says, are we to believe then that sometime two nights ago, someone remembered the, knowing that the sound code to open safe is somehow embedded in, oh my, that we should have to use that word in this connection. A telephone call to the bank manager from the diner, as in the call the whole town knows his wife makes, sometimes it has to be something that he says or thinks, arranged another call, or took advantage of another call to make a recording to open the safe and then secreted the money in some place pure of it. As, for instance, a moving vehicle of unknown destination for a period of time, more or less, as in, say, news, and then replace the money after showing the whole world that it was missing? He says, yes, and more than that. That person 
person sent the message about the location of the missing money in the form of the message that it was missing. I need mean, about 12.45, we got a call for an accident out on the highway. Also, at 12.45, we caught, got a call about two dogs fighting at the bank. But we had this accident out on the highway to take care of, and nobody was, to our knowledge, getting hurt at the bank. So we put off the dispatcher. She says, was that a good idea? He says, there wasn't an accident on the highway. She says, we are to believe then that the dog fight was an excuse, a performance, a version, that the accident of the water thrown on the bank manager, she said, I remember now, stopped his motion but left his passion totally intact, i.e. GP. was no accident at all. Well, it was on the highway. That this was done to cause the manager to go into the safe for a change of floors in order to discover that the bank had no money in the bank? He says, yes. She says, and who would know that his change of clothes was in the safe? She says, He's the Boy Scout Master after all. <laughs> she says, Can you believe that dogs would stoop to such a thing? He, he says, Well, Ida, it's hard. Oh, oh Donnie, such, such as, as the music is, such are the people of the Commonwealth. Oh, oh boy.
Thanks very much. That was really nice. Thanks very much to all of our team players. Um, Clara, Joey, Hillary, Ryan, Jeff. And it's really great. You should really try to make it out to some of the other events. They're very, very good. <laughs> you can talk to the man in the red cardigan here, Matt Elmore, um, all about it, and he will talk to your off. Um, but actually, he might not be able to because we got to go to the bar. <laughs> so we should come to the bar, which is Howler's, uh, I believe it's Coyote Cafe. That's right. Um, at 11 p.m. No apostrophe, sorry. Howler's Coyote Cafe uh, at 11 p.m. It's um, on Liberty, uh, up in the neighborhood whose name I can't remember. Bloomfield. Yeah, everyone knows how. Isn't it pronounced Bloomfield? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> uh, anything else? And if you guys like the text, I think Mimi has some more. Not all. I only have two. There are She's only talking two more. There are only two hardcover versions of, of Perfect Lives <laughs> available. You can buy them from the person that it's dedicated to. But they can be bought online. <laughs> they can also be bought online through Lovely Music and Burning Books. Yes. Or just Burning Books. I can't remember. There's also the version from the the reprint from the University of Illinois Press that has the article by Kyle Gannon in it. That one. There you go. We're just talking. We're just talking stuff. We'll see you at 11, guys. See you at 11. Come see Thanks us for the final question. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you.